Before we begin, I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year to make all these special videos, so if you like the content here, please consider subscribing to help fulfill Project 10K. Thank you, now on to the video. When you hear about Cars diecasts that have been censored, you hear a lot about Finn and Grem with a weapon, and Holly with electroshock device, and of course, Francesco's martini glass being replaced with an all-in-all -all can. But to me, the most blatant case of censorship in the Cars diecast line, the most obvious one, has always been You the Bomb Mater. Of course, you couldn't have the Cars diecast line without Mater with the bomb on him from the end of Cars 2. This is a very significant part of the movie, and probably the Mater variant with the most screen time other than, say, Race Team Mater, maybe Ivan Mater's in the movie a little bit more. Regardless, this is easily one of Mater's most prominent looks for the film. It's what he has throughout the entire third act, but I fully understand not wanting to call the toy for it Mater with Bomb on him, like, like you know? So... Honestly, I think their censorship here, the new name they came up with, is pretty clever. Of course, in the scene where Mater's trying to get McQueen away from him, he keeps saying that he's the bomb, he's the bomb, and McQueen goes, yeah, you are the bomb. Uh, so they kind of pulled it from there. So it kind of has a double meaning, much like the line in the movie. Of course, the line in the movie is insanely stupid, but this is Cars 2 we're talking about, and all the characters have the intelligence of a wet brick. In my original plan for the video, I was going to say all of the characters have the intelligence of the writers of the Acolyte, um, but, you know, I would never insult anyone that harshly. Anyway, guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at You the Bomb Mater. This uh, is a car that I got when I ordered a lot of Radiator Springs 500 and a half cars and uh, Mater variants off of eBay a little while back. Of all the Maters there, the only ones I did not have were Ivan, who wasn't a Mater, it was just Ivan, and You the Bomb Mater, who I'm happy to add to my collection. I know he's been released a few times over the years, but you may have noticed something right off the bat. This is his original release, his 2011 variant, uh, from a Toys R Us exclusive. I believe it was a five-pack from 2011. And then the following year, when they re-released him in the 12-pack, and then they released him again in 2013 as a single, they made some significant changes to this Mater, because if you couldn't already tell, he is not accurate in the slightest. There are some major, major issues with the design of this release. It starts on the bomb itself, which is just one flat silver color. Instead of the silver and green it's supposed to be in the movie. This whole bottom base part, the actual bomb itself, is supposed to be green with sort of the silver parts around it. And luckily, uh, they did change that in 2012. The other thing that they changed was the side, where for whatever reason, in his first release, this Mater has the Team 95 sticker on his side still. Of course, we know that in the movie, Mater rips it off after leaving Tokyo, but I guess when this was being designed to release right after the movie, back in 2011, they didn't get the memo, so they had to go back and remove that in future releases. Other than that, everything else is the same from the later releases of You the Bomb Mater, who I really hope to get someday. There were some rumors that apparently he was supposed to be released in 2023, but the re-release was canceled. So, you know, since he almost came back last year, uh, hopefully they choose to actually uncancel his re-release soon so I can get my hands on the, uh, the corrected version of him. I was actually kind of glad that the one I was sent was the error one, you know, the old and accurate one, because that means if he comes back, then hey, I have another re-release I could pick up, right? Anyway, you can see the bomb itself, of course, is placed over where the uh, the cap from Mater's engine is, just like in the movie. We've got only two seconds left on the clock. Sure hope Mater can uh, sure hope Mater can can uh, figure out how to get rid of that, or else it's going to be later Mater. Am I right? He's looking off to the side here. A pretty good nervous expression for this variant of Mater. One that is certainly quite fitting to the scenario. Moving on back here, you can see the 95 sticker there. Again, uh, not supposed to be there, but added there for whatever reason. Again, I'd assume that since this first released so soon after the movie and that Toys R Us 5 pack, they probably didn't get the memo that, hey, uh, 
Mater is going to rip off the logo. Other than that, it's all of your typical Mater details, but Mater details you're seeing for the first time in the glorious quality of my new camera. Ooh. Got the A113 license plate here on the back. As you can see, since I got this item loose, it does have a bit of wear and tear, a bit. What am I talking about a bit? This this looks this looks pretty bad. Uh, a lot of wear and tear on the sticker on the back. That's all right. Some of my meters uh, look like that as well. There's a look at the other side. And finally, there's a look at the base. Look at that. Look at how nicely you could read everything on the base. Wow. And there you have it. You, the bomb meter. I keep zooming out way too far. There we go. There you have it, guys. You, the bomb maters, inaccurate release. Certainly not the best because of those two major issues, but hey, like I said, I'm happy to have this variant of him because that means if they ever re-release him, uh, hopefully the one they re-release is the accurate version, then I can pick that up. And if they don't, well, a corrected you, the bomb mater, goes for only about 10 or so dollars online, so I'm not in any rush to get him. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Sorry, I needed to move the camera over to here so you guys could see how funny Finish Line McQueen looks hanging there. Okay, see you in the next review. Bye now.